Sunset Beach, setting up semifinal number two between Caroline Marks and Betty Lou Sakura Johnson. Pat Guerrero, along with Felicity Palmentier on the call. Goofy versus regular story in this heat flick. We have not started the priority exchange as of yet. It's open priority out in the water. Betty Lou on the inside here. She's going to get a second chance. And she's up. Sakura. Nice carve to start. A little late there, but was strong enough to come through and complete her ride. Just got a message from John Pizel. Surfed it really well. So this is Betty's opening wave here. Definitely a smaller one when you compare it to the waves from that last semifinal that Molly was sort of taking off on. Goes up and gets the finish there. So nice, nice opening wave, smaller wave, but she's getting her account. And we're going to get back to the equipment after we watch Caroline Marks here kicking out on the channel. So Sakura um, on a 6-0 ghost model. If Betty Lou Sakura Johnson is able to win this event, she will steal that yellow jersey off of Molly. So our leader in the rankings has not been determined as of yet. The finals are going to determine that. Or... If Betty here does not make it out of the semifinal. But she's currently in the lead. She started with a 3.5. She got a little back up there. Your thoughts? Yes, yeah, so Caroline, we'll get back to that. Caroline right behind her. So these two going back to back on set waves. And Caroline gets a snap on the backhand. So the judges are going to owe us again. Scores for both Betty Lou Sakura Johnson and Caroline Marks to set the situation with 25 minutes on the clock. Aaron Brooks and Sierra Kerr, they're coming up next and, you know, going to be nipping at their heels really soon here. Thank you, Miles. Enjoy enjoy the time with you. And um, always good. We, we featured you on the WSL Vault. It was great to see and look back at your win back in 2001. Thanks for your time. Epic. Thanks, Kipes. I appreciate it. You guys have a good day. Here we go with live action here. Caroline Marks. Just with a hook on the backhand and Sakura just pulling into a wave. So still no breakaway performance as of yet. This wave here is just like sort of a frothy wave again. It's got a lot of froth in the face when I compare it to other waves that we've seen so far today. It was a beautiful turn put together by Caroline. But in the context of today and what we've seen. Even it up with a victory here. Live action, Sakura Johnson. Sweet bottom turn to hook combo. Fading again on that bottom turn. Another beautiful carve. Rail control to Sakura. She's got a 5.83. She needs to better a 3.5. Your thoughts, Flick? Straight away, bigger wave, clean blue face, no whitewash to deal with, and hooks it up in the first section here. She drops down into this second bowl, was able to get a second carving maneuver. So... Look, things are starting to improve. I mean, ever so slightly. I think she's definitely going to improve on that situation. <laughs> 16 minutes and 45 seconds here. Caroline Marks trying to make a comeback here. It needs a 6.66. Caroline eases down the face here. Delays the bottom turn. Mid-face hook there. Steeper section on the inside here. Caroline unleashes. Extends the body on that second carve off the top. And we will be awaiting the score and see if that changes the situation. She takes off here, but this wave sort of have a different sort of angle to it. When she went up to hit this one, she sort of had to wrench it right back around. This section here, it starts to bowl up. That was a better looking turn. However, it went into that like deeper water quite quickly. This happened during the break flick, a 6.83 for Sakura. Yeah, beautiful carving maneuver off the top there and then backs it up with this one here. Sort of threw in a little bit of a layback there. It looked like her back arm actually went into the water, so giving a little bit more variety, which was pretty cool to see. Just have a look at this angle here. We had to really see what she did on that second turn. Yeah, she just went for the layback. Gives a little bit more variety. I almost think that, you know, it's also possible to break this down in two waves with 11 and a half minutes on the clock. I mean, a 4.5 and a, and a 4.4, they're, they're pretty small scores, especially on finals day and when you're coming up against such an informed Betty Lou. I also feel like as we look at Caroline having a, a paddle. Caroline Marks 
on the heels, slashes on the toes there. One more time off the bottom, aims at the lip, another strong carve on the back end. Great rhythm right now and tempo from Caroline. So that should improve her standings. I don't know if that's going to go into the excellent range, but that should improve upon her scoreline. As we break it down here, this is probably the best wave she's taken off in terms of quality as well and shape. This one really had a nice bowl to it and she was able to really hook it in the pocket a couple of times. You can see she was looking for that third section, but it just didn't really give it to her. Yeah, it's been a while for for Jordy Smith to make the uh, to make the semifinals. Um, we'll get to that. Oh, 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 oh. no. Oh. Skipping on top of the water. That was um, a tough one for Betty, Betty Lou Sakura Johnson. She's going to have to shake that one off. As you see, Caroline, she's at the back. She's with priority. Needs that 7.06, and she's having a look. Here she goes. Straight down the face. Delays the bottom turn. Carves off the top. Again, patience in her approach. Another carve. Wave still standing up. Third big turn for Caroline Marks. That was great tempo and rhythm and turn placement. And a little bit of variety on the back end. Remember, she needs a seven-point ride. As we will break it down here. And this wave just, I don't think it was as steep as what she was hoping for. I think she was hoping it was really going to stand up a bit more. These first couple of turns were a little bit slower, a little bit sleepier. But that one there was really nicely timed, especially with that little bit of backwash that hit it at the same time. In a semi-final number two, 6.83 and a 5.83 did the trick to earn a spot in Sakura Johnson's first career CT final. So a milestone for the 18-year-old here at the Hurley Pro Sunset Beach.